Hello and welcome to Just Start Again. I'm Babu Charles here. Hope you enjoyed my previous video. I am happy to see you all viewing this particular video and thank you so much for subscribing and viewing this video. So last session I was just talking about communicative intelligence and the foundation for communicative intelligence. You know why I developed this uh, fondness for communicative intelligence? It all started in a small town. I was born in a small town called Madurai, uh, but with a million population, million and above population. And I was in fact lucky enough to have a good exposure even in growing up in a small town. I had a fantastic uh, family who were all kind of, most of them teachers and doctors and and uh, my grandfather was uh, was with the government, central government, and my other grandfather, my paternal grandfather, was also grandparents uh, was with, uh, uh, with uh, in the education system. So I had wonderful exposure right from day one, and my fantastic schooling, in fact, like did a lot of change. But it doesn't mean that it's the only factor that has helped me grow to stature. Even at one point in time, I felt the lack of communicative intelligence and I always think back, not as what if, but as a kind of a repository of wealth of knowledge where I can draw my experiences and develop something that which might benefit young population who are in fact uh, exposed to a new kind of uh, world that which I was not exposed to. Everything is one touch at this point in time and and uh, this this particular generation is born digital in the sense like they have they 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 are born into a world which is already digitized and dematerialized for them and uh, this being the situation like i would want them to develop the capacities to uh, navigate or maneuver effectively in this particular scenario and try to harness digital capital at one point in time but also not lose track of harnessing or developing social capital. So social capital is a kind of resources that we have based on trust and reciprocity. So social capital is something that is very, very, very crucial for growth and development because most of it, leave alone capital, which is considered to be the, the hallmark of growth and development, uh, social capital plays a pivotal role in one's development. We all, we all have that in store, we all have developed over a period of time. Every day we develop capital that is very much social in nature based on our interactions with one another, interactions with the society, interaction with our fellow friends, interaction with our teachers, interaction with our parents and friends and so on and so forth and relatives of course. And we develop a rich repository of knowledge and information which we don't actually put that into use. There are two things that happen. There is a double whammy. One is we don't put that into proper use. At the same time, we don't know how to generate uh, value based on this uh, social capital. I mean, we don't know how to harness social capital through social interactions. There is one thing that I find with this younger generation that I am meeting now and often, very often, and uh, they don't know how to make use of or they don't know how to, how to harness social capital in a big way. So this being the situation, I would just want to, want to give you some strategies uh, through developing this communicative intelligence and harnessing social capital. First and foremost thing is like this communicative intelligence in fact helps us maneuver or helps us navigate or negotiate our day-to-day -day situations in a meaningful manner to a very satisfactory manner. When we do it, each social interactional spaces has got a lot of uh, richness of social capital. Samuha Mooladhanam Tamula Solvonam Mother. The Samuha Mooladhanam Tamula trying to trying to develop effective strategies to harness it and make use of it. It's not only trying to harness it, but trying to make use of that in a positive and productive manner. So for this, communicative intelligence is very important. I'll tell you why. First and foremost thing is it is trying to develop 
appropriate intelligence for communication it's not that we are not with this intelligence we are all bestowed with this intelligence the moment we learn to speak the moment we learn to hear the moment that we learn to see the moment we learn to taste smell and uh, feel the touch so these all sensory inputs in fact are are part of the cognitive processing mechanism which we call it as sensory perceptions which which influences our cognitive patterning or our cognitive uh, uh, thinking process so this thinking process in fact has to be properly aligned so that we try to focus on what information that we require and how much we require and why we require and for what purpose we are going to put that into use so communicative intelligence is the intelligence that which helps us adapt to this challenging scenario trying to say what is that i require and how much do i require to what i'm going to put that into use and how am i going to benefit out of it this is particularly available as a free resource based on our interactions so this is what we commonly call as information seeking behavior but we cannot we cannot just put that into just information seeking behavior we just have to see it in a wider wider perspective uh, it's how it's all relational it, it involves our emotional quotient it involves our social intelligence it involves our cultural uh, competencies so on and so forth so the moment you try to initiate a conversation the moment you try to interact with someone in a social context we have to be uh, uh, i mean reminded of this fact that we it is a social context and this social context has got some social capital of value that could be taken forward ஸோ இந்த சமூக மூலதனத்தை எப்படி வந்து நம்ம சேகரிச்சுக்கிறது எப்படி அடுத்த கட்டத்துக்கு எடுத்துகிட்டு போகிறதுன்றதுக்கான தேவையான யுக்திகளை வந்து இந்த கம்யூனிகேட்டிவ் இன்டெலிஜென்ஸ் திஸ் ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜிஸ் தட் யூ ரிக்வயர் ஃபார் ஹார்னஸிங் சோஷியல் கேபிட்டல் யூ ஹாவ் டு டெவலப் அ பர்டிகுலர் டைப் ஆஃப் இன்டெலிஜென்ஸ் ஃபஸ்ட் அண்ட் ஃபார்மோஸ்ட் திங் இஸ் வி லவ் டு பி கல்ச்சுரலி சென்சிட்டிவ் திஸ் கல்ச்சுரலி சென்சிட்டிவ் சுச்சுவேஷன் helps us develop some competencies to adapt to any type of culture because people come from different types of culture different religion different gender different background socio economic background so each has got each is a subculture so this competency would allow us to develop a kind of an intelligence to relate well to this particular subculture in the context very specific that is very culturally specific and culturally sensitive also so this in fact is also helping us harness some cultural capital because we try to try to learn from the other culture also this is one thing that i wanted to tell you in a very uh, brief manner the second thing is it resolves conflict if you have a good if you are communicatively intelligent you can resolve conflict without allowing your emotions or your uh, your biography to take over or uh, your your own your own self to take over you know how to negotiate it you know how to how to handle it if you have the right set of thinking because communication is what we think we communicate what we think most often and uh, what we think is patterned by our inputs by sensory inputs and processing is patterned by the whatever inputs that we get and the kind of uh, the previous experiences that we have gone through and the kind of kind of reactions that we have or the responses that you have made to that particular situation in that particular context so all put together it kind of develops a response but communicative intelligence is trying to moderate on this response in a meaningful manner that's what i said by maneuvering or navigating or kind of negotiating the particular context to the best favorable outcome so this is something that is very important so i have spoken about cultural sensitivity and competency and conflict resolution and i'll be talking more about it in future in our next few sessions yes thank you very much and thank you for listening subscribe and listen to and enjoy the enjoy the session thank you very much